Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done one of these, uh, and I have a lot of stuff to show off. So let's just jump right into it. So first off is Necropolis, which is a action, kind of roguelike RPG game for PC. Um, if you saw recently, uh, I guess not even that recently now, uh, where I had been to a Half Price Books bag sale over on the other channel, um, this is one of the things I picked up there. Um, interested to check it out. Uh, kind of looked at some of the graphics and stuff, and it doesn't look like it's necessarily the type of game that I'm into, but still cool to find um, from there as well. A lot, a lot of this first stack I'm going to go through are from there. Uh, Return of Castle Wolfenstein, which is also released on like PS3 and Xbox 360 and that sort of thing. Um, Cool to have it for PC. Um, uh, I have it on 360, I believe, already. Um, Final Days of Planet Earth, which has got uh, Daryl Hannah in it. So, uh, never seen it. Uh, interested, but they didn't have a lot of Blu rays at the bag sale. So, I just kind of picked up what I could find. Saw 5. Uh, my wife is not a horror fan, but she does like the Saw films, um, so I grabbed this just to add to our collection. Live Free or Die Hard. Uh, I have the other films, so uh, I needed this one. Um, and that's basically why I picked it up. Uh, Angels and Demons. Um, we are both big fans of this series. Um, so... Uh, I think we have it on, we have it on DVD, I know we do, um, in like a collector's edition, but to have it on Blu-ray, uh, I was excited to find it in this kind of bigger case, so that's cool. Uh, this one I was actually really excited to find, um, Shawshank Redemption, um, it's a movie I love, so happy to have that. Um, this is a movie I haven't seen, but my dad um, really liked it. Um, and he loved the Lone Ranger, so I just felt like I kind of had to have it in his honor. Um, this was cool. Uh, WrestleMania Volume 2, um, from 1990 to 1994. Um, it has all the WrestleManias from that time on here. Um, and while we have the network, it's just cool to have these, um... This is just WrestleMania 22, um, so uh, again, just cool to have. Um, I don't really know anything about this. It is still sealed, hidden, um, some horror film, uh, and it even has like the address and phone number at the bottom. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is the this next one is a movie I do love. Uh, the Devil's Backbone. Uh, I love Del, uh, Del Toro films. So, yeah, I'd rather have it on Blu-ray. But, just cool to have. Um, this is a bunch of short films released by Fangoria um, called Blood Drive. I had rented this a couple times, actually, um, from a video store. Um, so it's nice to actually have this. Uh, and then, keeping in that, Blood Drive 2. Uh, again, uh, more short films that Fangoria released. Um, this is uh, uh, cool to have. If you've been following me on um, the channel on Instagram recently, uh, I talked about the Zork games, um, the text adventure ones. Um, and in the mid 90s, they released uh, Zork Returns, which was their first uh, graphical uh, Zork game, um, which was full motion video, and then Zork Nemesis uh, followed that, and this is just the strategy guide for that. So, uh, really cool to have. Um, next is the Ark the Lad strategy guide for PlayStation 2. Um, I'm not a big um, uh, RPG fan, but I do uh, appreciate Ark the Lad. Um, they are really cool games. Uh, and then keeping kind of in that strategy guide thing, um, Killer Instinct for Super NES. 
Um, really cool find. Again, all these came from Half Price Books. Uh, then, again, keeping with strategy guides, I recently found at Goodwill um, Diablo 2 strategy guide. Um, I've actually been playing Diablo 3 recently, um, so uh, it was cool to find this. I've been wanting to kind of go back to the old school Diablo games uh, because I've been playing those, uh, because I've been playing the third one, um, so that's just maybe want to play this. Uh, this was something I found um, while I was visiting my mom down in Florida recently. Um, there's going to be a whole video, uh, a, the, actually two videos, about that trip um, over on the other channel. Um, kind of vlog style. But, uh, again, wanting to get back into um, like old computing stuff. Um, Windows 3.1, Windows uh, 95, Windows 98. Uh, I found this uh, um, mouse in box. Uh, it is missing the free um, <laughs> mouse pad, but it does have a uh, it hooks onto the side of your um, computer. This little holster, basically, for the mouse um, that is 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 in here. Uh, I picked this up at. Um, Family video, Shovel Knight. I know people love this game. I actually have never played it, um, so uh, at that price, I thought, well, I might as well go ahead and, and give it a go. Uh, this is something, uh, not this one, but I, I, <laughs> I've always wanted the Mavis Be Beacon typing games. Um, I know people have a lot of fondness and uh, nostalgia for them. Uh, I never played them, um, but. Uh, I was able to find a copy of uh, nine, so just cool to add that. Um, this I found a while back, and my wife found some things that had fallen behind our deep freeze, and uh, I picked up a, a copy of Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie on DVD. Uh, the same with this next thing, which I'm extremely excited to have. Um, I had it at one point and sold it, and immediately regretted it. And that is Alien Hominid for GameCube. Um, if you're familiar with Newgrounds, this was the first game uh, released by Tom Fulp, the creator of Newgrounds, uh, on, a uh, on a home console. Um, it released on, on uh, different platforms. But uh, I had the, the GameCube version and excited to have it back in my collection. Um, I haven't sold too many games in the past, but it was one that I did, and I, again, regretted it. Um, you might have seen this uh, on the other channel as well. Um, it was shown in the background. Um, I picked this up at a, um, a game store in Bloomington, um, the Mega Man X, X collection. Um, I have the other Mega Man collection for PlayStation. Um, so I was really happy to get this as well. Um, Whiplash for Xbox. I've been trying to collect most of the exclusives for this console. Um, if it was also released on PlayStation, PlayStation 2, I'm, I'm going for that. But I do want um, the um, exclusives for the console. Um, so this is a kind of 3D platformer. So cool to have that. Keeping kind of in that vein, um, I picked up uh, Tie 2 um, for the GameCube. Um, another 3D platformer. Um, that's just, aside from uh, 90s first-person shooters, um, platformers are my favorite games. And I really have a soft spot for 3D platformers. Um, also on GameCube, I picked up a copy of Spider-Man. Um, I'd been wanting this, and I'd been wanting it on GameCube, and I found it at Goodwill, um, surprisingly. So I got it for like $2. Uh, same with that Thai game. Um, this is a game I have on uh, PSP, uh, which I don't have a PSP, but uh, I've been wanting to play. Uh, Harvey Birdman. I don't know how they differ, you know, this versus the PSP version. Um... But I love that series, 
So it was just cool to find it on Wii. Um, and I think I got it for a buck or two dollars or something like that. Um, then also at Goodwill, I very rarely ever find PlayStation games. And I like this, that like, it says Shooter at the top. Um, I find this case very interesting. Um, it almost feels um, foreign. Um, it doesn't feel like a U.S. release. Um, and I haven't looked into that yet. Um, but um, Greg and I have been talking recently about how there are thousands of PlayStation games. Thousands of them. But we never see more than like you know, 50 titles. Um, so we were wanting to collect a few more. And so I was happy to find this. Um, something else I found at, at Goodwill was uh, a bag of controllers. Um, I got this PlayStation uh, kind of crappy see-through controller. I got this uh, four, um, four controllers for five bucks. So I got that. Um, I got this with a uh, turbo button, uh, turbo pad, again, PlayStation. Um, these next two I'm really excited about. I've always wanted one of these. Um, this NES Max pad. Uh, Maxi pad, if you will. Uh, which was a NES controller that had turbo buttons. Um, needs cleaned up a little bit. But it's in really great shape, minus that. Um, and then the f this fourth controller makes it all worth the price, really, for me. Um, I have the Indigo GameCube, and it contained this. Um, the thumbstick's a little beat up, and it needs a little cleaning. I don't know how well that shows up. Uh, but, uh, you know, the buttons seem to work. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, it may, again, need some, some cleaning inside as well. But for um, five dollars for our for these controllers, I was extremely um, excited. Now the next few things I'm going to show off, I'm um, particularly excited about, uh, specifically the last two. Um, this is something I found that I'd never even heard of: um, the blockbuster movie game. Now with this game, you pop a VHS or DVD. Um, into its uh, appropriate player, and the game is based around that. You watch for a certain amount of time, and then pause it, and then somebody asks a question based on what you've seen, um, and the other people have to guess the answer. Um, I had never heard of this game before, so uh, pretty cool find. Um, this next thing is something I've seen... Um, other people talk about it on YouTube, um, but I wanted one for myself. This is, oh gosh, I don't know how well this is going to show up. Uh, Zone 60. It is basically a uh, Wii bootleg console. Um, it's got 60 built-in games. It says 32-bit graphics. Um, it is a motion control based system. Um, 11 interactive games and 49 arcade games, um, and it is complete. Um, I got this for, I think, $5 when I was down in Florida. Um, uh, and then, you know, it's got, like, bowling and baseball and uh, tennis and basketball, so it's a bunch of, um, a bunch of games that are kind of Wii style kind of capitalizing on that and from what I've seen it's it's uh, apparently pretty terrible but just fun to have um, I, I have a real interest in kind of bootleg style consoles so uh, and I never come across stuff like this so it was cool to find it um, so the next two things again I'm very excited about <clears throat> Uh, the second one more so, um, I found for $4 at Walmart a silver GameCube. Um, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but all right, it's it's a little scuffed, it's a little scratched, but it came with a memory card. It does not have the hookups, and that's fine, and it didn't come with a controller. 
Um, but it did come with a copy of Luigi's Mansion inside, um, which I already own. But just cool for that price. Uh, I'm interested to find out what is on this memory card, what other games this person played. And then lastly, this is something I've wanted since it was released. Um, it, it's not considered good, but I've always wanted one, and that is a Game.com from Tiger. Uh, if you know the company Tiger, they released a bunch of handhelds in the 90s and early 2000s um, that were LCD style, that have a screen, and then just a plain black background, uh, just a plain background, and then kind of black things <laughs> would move across the screen. Um, you know, there'd be like Sonic or Ninja Turtles or uh, Castlevania, that sort of thing. But um, the thing that I found this for two fifty, um, but it also has um, Duke Nukem three D. Um, so for that price, I was just so stoked. Um, this is also a touch screen as well. Um, there will be uh, an upcoming video about this. I will just go ahead and say that now. Um, I'm gearing up for a new uh, series where I take a look at different tech, um, whether it's handhelds, consoles, or kids' electronics, um, specifically, specifically from the 80s and 90s. Um, with that sort of thing um, that maybe I had and then talking about them um, and then whether they hold up. Same with this console. Uh, it won't be a big uh, fact-based video series, just talking about the the electronic and then whether it's something that um, you should look into if, it, it, if it's that sort of thing you're into or your children into uh, more specifically. Uh, but this is going to be um, one of the first videos I shoot is uh, taking a look at this, vid at, at this console, this handheld, and seeing is it as bad as people say it is, or are they basing it on, you know, what was out at the time, um, because Game Gear was out, Lynx was out, that sort of thing. Uh, I think it was trying to compete with Game Boy, but... Um, this was like gray and black. It's not a color screen. So, um, it wasn't as good as what was already out at that time. So, it, it just didn't do well. There was only a, a limited amount of games released for this, this thing. Um, but I never find stuff like this out in the wild. And I was at a thrift store and had already kind of made a round and came back while my mom was looking and happened to find this little pull-out tote and pulled some cords that were in there out and this was laying underneath kind of like this and I just I started shaking I'm so excited to find something like this in the wild um, so yeah really excited to have this so yeah that's what I found over the past couple months uh, what about you guys uh, you found anything cool um, Make sure you comment down below. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you thought about the things that I found. Um, and then also make sure you check out the other channel, uh, which is the title of it, the other channel. That's going to be our blog, uh, uh, vlog channel. Um, several videos are already shot for that channel that'll be coming out very soon. Um, with everything that's going on right now, I'm going to try to release a bunch of content as often as I can. Um, Greg may or may not be involved in some of those, um, you know, with everything <laughs> right now, that's kind of up in the air. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys thought. Check out the other channel, and I'll see you guys soon.